Okay, so this is where things get a little bit complicated. So, when God told Moses his name, he said Yahweh, but the way that it was spelled was Y-H-W-H, just four letters. Ancient Jews considered the name so holy that they never said it. In fact, some, when they come upon it to this day, still just say Adonai instead of verbally saying Yahweh. And different people added different vowels into the sacred name that create the different ways that we say it, Yahweh, or what some people say, Jehovah, which is often translated in the Bible as L-O-R-D in all caps. So I know that sounds really complicated, but really Jehovah is just another way, another name for God that means Lord. David, for example, loved to use the name Jehovah. He says in Psalm 29, Ascribe to Jehovah heavenly beings. Ascribe to Jehovah glory and strength. The voice of Jehovah is over the waters. The voice of Jehovah breaks the cedars. The voice of Jehovah shakes the desert. The voice of Jehovah makes the deer give birth. May Jehovah bless his people with peace. It's a beautiful poem about David's Lord and yours, if you believe. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The voice of the Lord breaks the trees. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. May the Lord bless his people with peace. I know there's a bit of overlap in some of these names, but all of them are equally awesome and can be used in prayer. Jehovah also has many other forms with words that come after it. We're gonna study those next. Through God's names, we learn more about God. My hope though is that it won't stop there, that you wouldn't just know more about God, but that you would truly know God.